Church, praise the Lord. I have two testimonies this morning, this afternoon. Yes, ma'am. The first one was permanent healing of uh, asthma attack on that faithful day, night vigil. I thought I was sitting down here, and it's like they put uh, some, uh, they flee the church because of mosquito. The asthma was already, I was, I was having the attack. Mm. But I said, how can I be in the yellow at, on this month? Maybe I should go outside. Mm. And this asthma is not as if they bore me with it. It was three years ago. I was having some healing, then I, sickness. I went to the hospital. Then the sub doctor wrote one injection for me. So after taking the injection, I started having difficulty in breathing. I called mommy, I said, mommy, I'm dying, you know, I cannot breathe. It's all time she was pregnant for her uh, little baby. She was not in Nigeria. So I always talk to her. I say, this is, I, they have done all the tests. They did not know the cause of the breathing. Small time they put uh, oxygen. Small time the thing will stop. I could not breathe. So after so many tests, they now discovered that the side effect of that injection was the one causing the asthma. Hmm. So... Because I know I was not born with it, I know one day the thing will go. So I was hiding, I was ju just between me and my husband, nobody knew. There was a day, this my brother wanted to take something from my bag. He now saw the healer. He said, ha, who is one of this? I said, one of my friends, I forget it at work. So I now put it inside my bag. Because I know if they know, all of them will be worried. So when daddy was, daddy said there's somebody here, I don't know, maybe, so people are in the region down there that are in the church today. So when I said there is somebody in this church that have asthma, I know I'm the one that because already that time the attack was already disturbing me. Going to God is ministering to me that there's somebody that is asthmatic that he wants to heal. Ah, are you the one? Ah, yeah, yeah, Diana. Hey, came outside. But I know for daddy to see it, I believe and I have faith that the end has come for the asthma today. Hmm. So immediately as daddy prayed for me, with faith I dropped the hela in this altar. And I went home with faith. In the night, the asthma used to come when there is cold. Maybe early in the morning when the cold was too much. The thing wanted to start. I say, oh, 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 if you like, start. If you like, I don't come out of Yela. If you're tired, you will go. Before you know, the thing stop. See, then, I did not have any Help! sign of Chineke me di ma, e 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 di ma. I shall go the money, man, man, le. I shall go the money, e di ma, e di ma, e di ma, no way. Church, clap your hands, clap your hands. Glory. So my second testimony, I want to thank God for a successful major surgery. Mm. The journey was not easy. When the doctor told me that we go for the surgery, I was scared. My fear was about the asthma. Personally, I said, this one that I have asthma. What of if they are doing the surgery? The asthma now starts. This time I'm going to die. So the spirit of death was just, every time I remember the surgery, the nice thing that I'll be thinking of, I will die, I will die. After the fellowship, I now met mommy. Now mommy see, oh, I'm going for another surgery because I've done two major surgery before. This is the third one. So I'm, I'm very scared because I know what I passed through during the former surgery. So I, I met mommy, I explained to her, mommy, I'm going for another surgery. The doctor already fixed the date. She now said, okay. 
that she follow her. She brought me to the altar. She prayed for me with faith. Mm. The way she prayed, I now have confidence. Mm. As if the thing I've already done in surgery. The way she spoke the word, I will go and come back safely. I now pick the faith that when that spirit of death comes, I will say for where? I will not die. I will live. I will go for this surgery and I will come back. So I meet daddy on Sunday. I explained to him, daddy, God bless you, sir. I explained to him that I'm having surgery on mm. the 7th of May. He prayed for me. He said, I will go and come back safely. Mm -hmm. I, I now grab another confidence again that this surgery, you will not take my life. I will go and come back safely. So when we are going for the surgery, I call daddy. Daddy prayed for me. Thank God we went for the surgery. Everything goes successfully. They discharged me. I went back home with joy. I think that was the, the everything has, is fine. So they say I can eat anything. You know, and I now ate apple. I ate apple. Apple did not digest. I could not go to the toilet. My stomach starts to early. Well, I start. Pain, no. I called my husband. I said, yeah, I'm having pain. He said, I should take my pain. I said, this no, is not pain relief. The pain is too much. I could not go to the toilet. He said, I should take all the, uh, the strong pain relief they gave me. I'm just giving that. I said, you know, I don't want to disturb. This thing is too much for me. I could not bear it. So when he came, he now rush and come back home from work. When he came, he now said, he's not know that it's up to this. He thought it's just normal pain. When we, when we are now going back, when we, he now took me, we are going to the hospital. That day, since they bought me, I never see that kind of hold up. From our side to my to everywhere was blocked. Hey, inside the old up, beep, 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 you all on in low light. You go eat, yeah, and I will shout, yeah. The pain will go. It just come, it will go. Before we reached uh, from Oshodi to hospital, that there was like five hours because the old up was too much. So when we reached, the doctor started, they said I should go for it, I should go for this. And now discovered that the food I ate is not digest. Another problem starts. I called daddy, I explained to him. He prayed for me. They now need to fix some things from pipe to my nose to my stomach to help the food to digest. Now stay there oh, for another three weeks. I stay for I've stayed for five days. So after church service, daddy now came. Daddy prayed for me. I, me that I could not go to tell daddy. After the prayer, I start purging. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Tell me, I'm a man, 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 I'm a man